Every Informix 4GL installation comes with the well-known Stores demo. Depending on if you have RDS or C4GL, you will issue either the R4GL demo command or the C4GL demo command. When prompted, choose Y for Yes to get the demo programs copied to your local directory. Wait until the demo has been installed and compiled. On Unix Linux platforms, you must set the term and term cap environment variables, such as shown here. Ensure the original Informix 4GL stores demo runs by issuing the command fglgo demo 4.4gi or for c4gl dot slash demo 4.4ge. Executing this first step guarantees that you have the Informix environment properly set, and you should see the standard stores demo running. You should be able to query and access the stores demo database and run the standard stores demo as expected. Now let's go ahead and compile. The first thing you'll need to do to compile the stores demo with Genero will be to extract the database schema from the Informix Stores 7 database so that Genero forms and compilers know how to deal with instructions such as define like. So you'll issue the command fgldbsch space dash db space stores 7. This produces the stores7.sch file containing database column type descriptions and the stores7.att file containing column attributes. Use the fgl2p command to compile the sources so that demo4 can be executed in the Genero runtime system. fgl2p is a shorthand tool to both compile and link 4GL modules. Each module can be individually compiled with the fgl comp command and modules can be linked with fgl link. If your project is built with make, it's easy to adapt make files to use Genero compilers and tools. You'll quickly see that each 4GL command line tool has a Genero equivalent. The next step is to compile the form files. On Unix Linux, you can compile all forms in the stores demo with a single shell command as shown on screen, or in MS Windows, there is a DOS command equivalent, or you can individually compile them with the FGL form utility. By default, Genero runs in graphical mode. In order to use text mode and display forms in the current terminal window, you must set the FGL GUI environment variable to zero. For example, in Unix Linux, it would be like as shown. Next, run the stores demo. Now you should be able to run the demo program with FGL run demo 4. To run the demo application in a graphical mode, you must change the environment settings and start the Genero desktop client. First, set up your environment for the graphical environment. By default, Genero uses GUI mode. Just unset FGL GUI variable that we set prior. Since Genero is client server based, you'll need to set the FGL server environment variable to identify the host where the graphical front end runs, as well as the TCP port the front end is configured to listen to. The TCP port is specified after the colon by giving an offset on number 6400. So for example, here we are indicating that the front end runs on host Alamo and the port the front end is listening on is 6400. This is very similar to setting the display variable of an X11 server. Now start the graphical desktop front end, the Genero desktop client, also called the GDC. The GDC renders the application's interface on the display. On Windows, you can run the GDC from the Start menu, and on Unix, make sure you have the GDC environment set and start the front-end program with the GDC command. Last, you'll execute the FGL Run command as you did before with FGL Run Demo 4. Now the demo program should display. The default rendering in GUI mode uses proportional fonts and creates individual desktop windows for each 4GL window. This type of rendering is used for applications that have already been enhanced for graphical displays. Note in the application that the semi-graphic boxing is misaligned. To display 4GL unmodified dot per files correctly, we'll need to set the GUI mode to traditional, as shown in the next step. 
It's also important to note that the data on the screen is the color magenta because the 4GL code is using attribute magenta. To run the Informix Stores demo program in graphical mode using an old-style fixed font rendering, you can turn on traditional mode by setting the GUI.UI mode configuration parameter. So first we'll create a new file called demo4.prf and in this file we'll add a line GUI.UI mode equals traditional. We'll save the file and then we'll set the FGL profile environment variable to point to this file. Now when we run the program, we'll see a traditional rendering. Notice that in this mode, the stores demo adheres to the layout of the non-GUI mode and has correct alignment as you had in the text mode. This concludes this video, and in the next video, we'll focus on customizing the form.